presenting the challenger, Dupe Miocic! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, folks, I can barely sit still. This is as big a heavyweight fight as we can put together. John Jones taking on the consensus greatest big man in UFC history, Croatia's Stipe Mijic. Yeah, this is going to be a phenomenal fight. You have two of the jokes. Greatest heavyweight of all time versus the greatest light heavyweight of all time. How does Miocic handle the range of John Jones? How does John handle the power and the high level of boxing of Stipe Miocic? This is a dream matchup. We have wanted to see this one for so long. It finally happens right now. All right, early action here in the heavyweight division, and there's Stipe Miocic finding a home for that pull right hand early. He does it really well. He baits you into throwing something. And the moment you throw, he slips and he lets the right hand fly. He did it constantly against Francis Ngannou in the first fight. It has become one of his better strikes throughout his UFC career. Oh, it's back. Oh, he's looking to get that right hand busy. So more output, at least in the early going. He's going guillotine. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's got a bit of patience. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get so. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Oh, a single collar tie here. Right now, they separate. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Just over three minutes to go, round one. That's a good right hand there by Stipe. Maybe he'll attack the body here. You can certainly speak to that. He's yeah. a guy who mixes it up well. He's a guy that can do everything. And not only can he land punches of high punches of low, but he's a master of adjusting on the fly whenever he's inside the octagon. So just go total strikes. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. fighter but if i rock a guy to that extent i feel like i'm closing the show absolutely you gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad you cannot back off and take your time he's right for the picking go and pick fruit <laughs> mia chich is looking to pass in the half guard here but he's denied two minutes to go Oh, oh, great reversal to top position by Jones. Might be a submission attempt here, Chan. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, right into Mount. He's trying to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Miacic getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Mm, that was nice. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Jones. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. He's got to be careful here. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. 
While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jones. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal. From Jones is going for a choke. Looks like a pretty good attempt here. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Oh. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, heading back to the corner, and Jones has got a nasty cut above the eye. All right, so there's the end of the round in the top. You ready to fight? You ready. Second round here. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh! What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Huge block there. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones. And he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here, Tigers. And you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that kind of All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice angle change. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Jones is looking to lock up an arm bar here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there deep. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Three minutes to go. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and he's starting to show itself. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. Well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Garden, For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. Jones is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Jones's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. With conviction to the body. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man. Oh, like I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on the top of the ledge. Oh! That's good! Oh, my goodness! Oh, yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.
Let's get it to Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Stipe Miocic.